Hi. I made a new doll. I made a new doll. But as I was making her, as I was beating her, I was reminding myself of what and who I was inspired by in terms of all of this all of these beads that I love so much. And what I'm remembering is Fabrice. And Fabrice was a Haitian designer who had moved here to New York with his parents. He had gone to FIT and then he had won a special coating. Well, he had been painting on fabric. This part I didn't realize where it started, but he had been painting on fabric and made garments from that. That was like the precursor to the beading. And the beading, when I became familiar with the fact that he was a black designer, he was Haitian, and, and you know, he had these, these roots that it, it was exciting. I had seen dresses that were worn by stars to the Academy Awards or, or you know, different kind of presentations and what have you. It's, it's really interesting that he had all this prominence and then when he died, the, that, was, that was it. So did the prominence, so did the, the memory. And the article talks about how he was prominent from the early 70s to the 90s. The list of stars that wore his garments range from Whitney Houston, Natalie Cole, Roberta Flack, Shirley MacLaine. Uh, and, and one of the other things that was very interesting because all of the beads, they were always dripping and dripping and dripping. He also incorporated some voodoo symbols or designs within the designs. And to the fact that Shirley MacLaine, when she won an Oscar, said it was good luck to wear his designs. Uh, he, he really had such this broad career and the Metropolitan Museum has done, you know, retrospectives of other designers. And his would surely have, have had, you know, this opportunity based on the amount of, you know, actors and actresses that have worn his designs. He was the toast of the town. So from, from the article it says, um, he, the catalog of garments that are donated, the Met has only three pieces from Fabrice's collection, all donated by the same client. Now there could be a lot of reasons for that. Maybe, maybe you know, people didn't want to donate their pieces. Uh, you know, they're in the back of a closet somewhere and it's, they just love it so much. I, I don't know. The FIT, which was where he graduated from, Jamie Roy in 1999, the Museum of FIT, where he studied textile design, has only one, as does the Museum of Fine Art, Houston. I offered them several more when they came to my house, but they only took three, and one of them was a one of a kind. So. It, it's hard to understand why, you know, this designer of, of prominence didn't receive um, maybe more due, more, more excitement, more, hey, let's do a retrospective. When he died, the New York Times did do a two-page article on him, and which was very nice. But like so many other designers, Halston, Jeffrey Bean, you know, any of these designers, they don't go away. They, they, you know, you know of them, their names are heard of again and again, there's reference to them as designers and what they added to the industry. And Fabrice is not one of them. <laughs> That's, he's not one of them. And that is, I think, uh, sad. His sister makes a statement at the end of, at the end of this article. Now I'll read this. My brother loved what he did, but he didn't get the recognition he deserved, laments Stibel. 
He loved the fashion world and all its glamour. I remember days when photographers for the New York Post and others would be standing downstairs waiting for the stars to come out to Fabrice from their fittings. For a long time, I tried to do something so that he'd be remembered, but I'm not the fashion business anymore. There are no single answer why his work has been overlooked for decades, but to rectify this misstep, it's up to the industry educators, histories, and curators begin to recognize his contributions to American fashion and communicate in the curriculum, text, and exhibitions. Then he may start to get the recognition he deserves. So I remember Fabrice every time I put a bead on a string and put it into a piece of fabric. I remember Fabrice. I remember my inspiration and my awe of those garments that was just stringing, string, just dancing, dancing, dancing would be. So I remember Fabrice, and I hope you will too. Read the article, read more about him, just do some research. He was amazing.